Hi, Alan here from RVAcrossAmerica.net and you're in Guernsey State Park and you're in Long Canyon Campground within Guernsey State Park. We're in the northeastern corner of the uh, state park. This is uh, a campground I wanted you to see. It's got space for larger campers. It's a big loop. It is right next to the Gurney Reservoir, which you can see in front of you now. Uh, so some of these sites back up to within 50, 60 feet, if that, of the uh, reservoir. Uh, these are all dry camping primitive sites. Uh, you're not looking at any electric, you're not looking at water, and there is a uh, communal dump station in uh, uh, the south end of the park. Um, this is one of many campgrounds, we're pulling out of it now, and uh, there are over 200 campsites in this 6,000 acre state park. You'll find more about this in a map at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Guernsey State Park, which is spelled G-U-E-R-N-S-E-Y. We're coming up on a uh, T intersection here. We're right at the northeastern corner. If you turn left, you're going out the northern entrance and exit, and that's the way you would come in here in order to uh, access the park if you are in a larger camper. You're now seeing what things look like as you head southbound on Lakeshore Drive and because it's a bit of a drive I just sped it up. This is a triple speed so it looks like I'm driving about 80-90 miles an hour along this stretch. It is a winding stretch. It runs for about three miles on the east shore of Guernsey Reservoir and uh, this is um, a very winding road. There is a strict 45 foot combined truck and trailer limit. So that means if your trailer is any more than 25 feet, maybe at the absolute extreme 30 feet, you don't want to be on Lakeshore Drive. You want to, if you want to access that northeastern region, uh, and again, I got a map over on my post um, if you want to access that northeastern region, which is the Long Canyon Campground and some other campsites just a little further north and west of where I did the loop for you. Most of those campsites in Long Canyon, other than the ones you saw, are alongside a gravel road and some of them are not RV accessible. In other words, you park your vehicle and then hike down a few feet and tent. Uh, there's also a large parking lot at the end of that for day use. I go up there when I want to go kayaking in the northern end of the park. It's one of my favorite spots to uh, put in. So as we drive down along here you can see it's very picturesque. <clears throat> there are canyons on both sides. Uh, sometimes it's narrow, sometimes it's a bit wider. But you can imagine the way these S-turns are, uh, you wouldn't want to be pulling much of a trailer behind you. In fact, I don't think I'd want to pull any trailer behind me as I uh, come up through here. We're now turning into Fish Canyon Cove Campground. Now Fish Canyon Cove Campground does accommodate larger trailers, but how you get here is beyond me. Because again, there's a lot of S-turns, uh, both headed further south from here on Lakeshore Drive. And as you just saw, uh, you'd have to be pretty small to get in uh, to get along that road. So this is a little different from Long Canyon Campground, which has an immediate access uh, just uh, at the north end uh, for the north entrance. So we're back on Longshore Drive. Just on your left was uh, Fish Canyon Campground, as opposed to Fish Canyon Cove. There are going to be a couple more coves that we're going to go past. Those are great for uh, day use areas. And again, I've put my kayak in there too. Spent a lot of time in this park in the last few weeks. And um, uh, again, further up, there are a couple more campgrounds. Uh, the names escape me. They're beautiful. They're picturesque. Uh, but at least two of the ones that I'm thinking of, and again, you can go to the map at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Guernsey State Park. Again, G-U-E-R-N-S-E-Y. And uh, that'll help you <clears throat> to see those campgrounds. And they really are for smaller campers. We're talking maybe 25-footers. Uh, uh, realistically, maybe a hair more, but not much. Uh, and they would be accessed from the south. You would come up from the south entrance to get up into this area. Um, the road does begin to straighten out soon. 
um, and does become a little bit more amenable to pulling a trailer. But this middle stretch of the road, as we're on the east side of the uh, reservoir, uh, is definitely a challenging stretch of road. As we uh, head south, we just passed a uh, boat ramp area. Uh, there's boat parking off to the left, uh, up the hill, or uh, vehicle parking. We're coming up very soon. We're going to be coming up on the dam, and there's a one-lane road to cross the bridge that uh, the dam is right at. Uh, you can see water being let out of it. And again, as I mentioned in my post, uh, the water is let completely let out of this uh, reservoir twice a year. All right, so you'll see that. Um, actually, I think that was the uh, boat ramp on the right-hand side. It's kind of hard. I'm looking at the uh, video as you are to try and assess where I am in this uh, in this sequence. So we're coming up. Yep, here's the uh, here's the dam. Um, you have to slow down a whole lot because we've got a one-lane road there. And then this is the last <clears throat> stretch of southbound Lakeshore Drive before we pass the uh, ranger station that's on the right-hand side here. And then uh, you'll come up to a dump station on the left and a kiosk. And that'll be about it. <clears throat> and at this point, um, we're within three or four minutes of the town of Guernsey. Now... Um, from here, I'm going to uh, do another narrative coming up very shortly for the west side. And the turnoff for the west side is just about where we are right now. So we'll be with you in a moment. We're now on the west side of the park. This is accessed by coming in the southern entrance. And just past the uh, pay booth, you'll see a sign that says Sandy Point Turn Left. And that's where you want to go. We're doing triple time on the uh, video getting there, so no, I was not driving that fast. But uh, that'll get us on the west side towards Sandy Point a little faster. Um, it's early May. Uh, there's really nobody in the park. Uh, it's open only for day use at this point, and that's because of the virus. Uh, we're first going to see on our right um, there will be a campground called Skyline. Uh, we'll see a couple of turnoffs to the right. Uh, one of those goes to the castle, and I've got a little bit of footage uh, headed towards the castle, which itself is an extraordinarily interesting uh, piece of architecture within the park, uh, built during the CCC days by FDR's people, uh, his uh, workforce employment. And uh, I've got more on that on the uh, site, uh, rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Guernsey State Park. Um, <clears throat> we are approaching the campgrounds, and I'm going to slow down to double time when we go through the campgrounds so that you can see this. This is the direction you want to travel if you have a larger rig. Anything, anything over uh, 25 feet or so that you're coming in from the southern entrance you want to make sure you turn left towards Sandy Point. We're we've now arrived at an area, I believe this is the first, called Sandy Beach. And you'll notice along the left-hand side there are water and electric sites, some water and electric sites. A lot of this campground area and all the campgrounds are dry camping, but this one had water and electric. There's another one or two up ahead that have water and electric. On the right-hand side, you've got waterfront sites. Again, be aware of the fact that they drain the reservoir twice a year. <clears throat> uh, this is where I actually I slowed down there to see where I was going to put in the kayak because it's kind of a nice place uh, to come for day parking into that area. So Sandy Beach Campground is the first you hit. We're going to pull out, turn right, which means we're going further north up along the west side and that'll take us towards Cottonwood Cove <clears throat> and then eventually Sandy uh, Point itself. Um, most of these sites are reservable and Wyoming is in the process of potentially eliminating walk-up sites uh, in any case so you're probably going to have to go through Reserve America. This should be Cottonwood Cove that we're going into. It's a small area uh, you're going to see me pull forward here. Uh, there is no turnaround. So if you get to these sites, 
um, you'd better be backing in from a pretty good distance if you reserved one of those sites. Um, and again, Reserve America will help you with more detailed maps so you can figure out what site numbers are which. Uh, because of the switch to um, reservable only sites, it looks like Wyoming is going through with that. Uh, the numbering system may be changing, so looking at the numbers in this video is going to help you, even if you can make them out. Um, you are now, I believe, at Sandy Point. Um, there's also a Sandy Cove campground. Uh, each one bleeds into the other, and they, as you can see, they look very similar. They all accommodate larger rigs, and again, some of them have water and electric sites. You've seen the two main sides, if you will, to uh, Guernsey State Park. I'm now taking you on a couple of side trips. I was uh, actually told about the castle by somebody on Facebook. I had ignored the signs within the park, uh, and I decided to go visit the castle. It turns out it's a CCC era building, um, again, built by FDR's uh, workforce employment crews. And it's an interesting place. I've got some great photos of it over on the post. Again, rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Guernsey State Park. Um, the castle is just up ahead. The scenery approaching it is spectacular. You're on the top of a mesa uh, with a valley just to the right, uh, really sheer cliffs almost, uh, leading into the water. And I was actually in the water yesterday taking a picture of the castle above so it's kind of spectacular here's the castle on your right hand side now we'll shift gears and we're heading away from the castle and again there's more about the castle on the post um, we're turning towards Davis Bay which is another turnoff <clears throat> happens to be on the same main turnoff on the west side Davis Bay is one of a few bays that you can drop into and this is again a sped up video you're uh, dropping into a relatively deep valley you're going to lose uh, access to any kind of cell signal here I have found that you're going to get a weak Verizon signal throughout the park uh, but not down here uh, there are only a couple of sites down here and I would only come down here if I had a truck camper or a very small uh, travel trailer uh, or a small uh, motorhome you'll see in a minute why um, but it's a really isolated place. It's kind of neat. You have just three sites down here, two up against the water and one in the woods. And uh, it's just an example of some of the diversity within Guernsey State Park. Uh, while I'm wrapping this up, I just want to thank you for uh, sticking with me all the way through here. There's more, of course, over on the post at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash Guernsey State Park. It also leads you to... Uh, um, another post that I've made about the town of Guernsey. I've been here for about a month now because of the virus. And um, it's a neat place. So I want to thank you for your time and uh, say, hey, there's more over on my site. Thank you.